Welcome to the introductory session of Web and Social Media Analytics. So what is Web Analytics? Let's understand this first. Web Analytics is the measurement of data, collection of information, analysis and reporting of internet data for the purpose of optimizing and understanding web usage. Here, the web usage refers to the particular business website metrics only. So let's have this clear. What are all the informations can be gathered from web usage data and how it could be leveraged for the business benefits? So we will address these questions in a minute. Now let's understand social media analytics. Social media analytics is the practice of gathering data from social media websites such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, etc. and analyzing those data to understand insights to make any business decisions. So most often people confused between web analytics and social media analytics. Let's have clear demarcation between these two. Web analytics uses the data collected directly from business websites and social media analytics uses the data collected from social media networks. So what information can be gathered from web analytics? In general, web analytics tells you what what is your website traffic level and referral sources bounce rate and user behavior on your website so web analytics mainly used to improve user experience and conversion rate so there are few important analysis can be done through web analytics where your web visitors are coming from in which page are they spending more time and how are they connecting to your website which part of the day your website getting more traffic and how well do you retain your users so these are all the analysis can be done through web analytics in other words the four important key metrics can be analyzed number 1 total traffic number 2 traffic sources three bounce rate and fourth one is conversion rate so let's see each one of them separately So what is total traffic? Total traffic to your website it's actually the number of people visitors visiting your website in a particular period of time. Total traffic to your website gives insight about from where you are getting more traffic that helps you to understand your target market in addition. You can analyze which hour of the day or days of the week you are getting more traffic to your website. Based on this information, you can run a campaign to optimize more visitors and more conversions. To traffic source. Traffic source is about how you are getting more visitors to your website. Is it through social media, search engine or referral sites? based on that information you can strategize your market campaign or write a blog or focus on particular social media network for example if you get more traffic or visitors from a social media networks use that information to brand your business more on social media networks bounce rate bounce rate is one of the key metric for any websites It is the percentage of visitors to a particular website or a blog who are leaving your site without navigating through other pages in the website. This could be higher for any number of reasons: irrelevant content, inappropriate design, confusing navigation, frequent pop-ups, unnecessary ads, or annoying sounds. However, this metrics help you to improve the design of your web page. overall so the last one is the conversion rate which is very very important for any businesses the conversion rate is the percentage of visitors who have taken some action on your website or completed a desired goal it could be purchasing a product or signing up for a newsletter etc there are many tools available in the market to track and analyze web data However, Google Analytics is one of the vital tool for any websites, for a blog or for an e-commerce website. So for anything, Google Analytics is the best, as it offers the chance to obtain and analyze in-depth analytics 
I mean in-depth statistics about who your customers are, what are they interested in and how are they interacting with your website or online store. When you take advantage of that information which Google Analytics offers, you can make data made decisions the best way you can improve your business. So there are other, many other tools available in the market, but however, Google Analytical is free and it is best. Let's now move on to social media analytics. Social media analytics gather information from social network sites and helps businesses better understand consumer sentiment user attitude, build rich consumer profile, and most importantly, build effective business strategies. There are many tools available in the market to track and analyze social media data. The most common use of social media analytics is to discover sentiments of the consumer, opinion, emotion, topics that your consumers are discussing. Put together, uh, it can be called sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis, so what is that? So it is a process of computationally identifying and categorizing the expressions that the consumers are giving in a piece of text format, especially in order to determine whether the writer attitude towards your product or services is positive, negative or neutral. This become more easy as we started getting the natural process, language processing become easier due to uh, growth of and machine learning and the artificial intelligence algorithm. Importantly, the first step is to define which business goal we are trying to address through social media analytics. In general, the business objectives include increasing revenue, reducing customer service cost, getting more feedback on product and services and improving public opinion of a particular product or business division. Now let's move on to the importance of social media analytics. There is a tremendous amount of information in social media data. In decades past, Enterprises paid market research companies to pool consumers and conduct focus groups to get this kind of information that consumers now willingly posting it on social media platforms. So we have a quick video which uh, give you the glimpse of what happens online in 60 seconds. So the opportunities are enormous. How well you are positioning your business, it matters a lot. In the past few years, businesses have rushed to use web and social media widely. Almost 94% of all businesses now use some form of social media to promote their brand and engage with customers. While companies sprint to master web and social media marketing, the analysis of data available in those platforms is more of a struggle. The main reason is those data available in the text format, particularly free text and natural language, the kind of unstructured data that analytical algorithm handles traditionally. However, as machine learning and artificial intelligence have advanced, it becomes easier for businesses to quantify in a scalable way 
the information in social media posts and comments. This allows enterprises to extract information about how the public perceives their brand and what kind of products consumers like and dislike and generally where markets are going. Social media analytics makes it possible for businesses to quantify all this without using less reliable pooling and focus groups on. So web and social analytics is the backbone of every business is moving forward. Of course, there are few challenges in web and social media analytics such as fraud and irregularity detection, spam identification, duplicate accounts, etc. These we will be discussing in our upcoming videos, so kindly stay tuned. Alright, so if you like our video, please do share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please put it on the comment section below. We will try to get back to you as soon as possible and thanks for your time and have a great life. Thank you.